Welcome to a video entitled Understanding Windows Server 2012 and this will be part one. We'll do two videos here and the purpose of these two videos is to make sure we're all on the same page and you understand how we got to where we are in needing a product like Windows Server 2012 and as we move through the course why some of these services and functionalities have grown so complex. Well let's go all the way back to the 1980s. The personal computer arrived and it was a hit. As a matter of fact it was a big hit. These things began to proliferate in businesses. They were everywhere. They were on everybody's desk and then we started to realize well wait a minute we're all kind of isolated. We can't share files and then somebody had the great idea of connecting all these machines. Well that was pretty cool because now we could share data between them, uh, we could communicate to each other. However, administration reared its ugly head, as it often does, and became a problem. People began to complain, wait a minute, everybody can see my files and I don't really want that situation occurring. And every computer had to set its own security and its own sharing. And that was tough to get everybody to do the same thing and also to get all the users to understand how it was done. Then a better idea came along, and that idea was a server. The idea was, let's create a machine dedicated to connecting all these machines together, and it can handle certain administrative functions like centralized administration. We'll handle administration in one place. We'll do it once. It'll affect everybody. It was a great idea, and it worked great. Centralized file storage. Instead of storing files on every individual machine, Let's put all those files on the server and share them as needed. Centralized backups. We can do backups on one machine. We don't lose our data. Centralized security. We can handle all the security issues right here on the server and all of the problems were solved and everybody was happy, right? Well, not exactly. As more computers were connected to the LAN, servers became overloaded. That one server simply couldn't handle it anymore and it started to slow down. Administration became more challenging. As we got more computers, more files, more users, more network traffic, security became a problem. And so now we found ourselves struggling with what exactly do we do with all this stuff? And so what I want to do here is stop, we'll end this, and this will be the end of part one. Join me in part two and we'll talk about how Windows Server 2012 helps deal with these issues.